Hi, this is Dr. David Morris with Magnolia Medical Center. At our office, we specialize in handling chronic health conditions using functional medicine. We often see patients who have been seeing their family physician or their primary care doctor, but aren't getting answers as to why they feel so awful. Very, very often, our medical staff are the ones who are finding out the underlying reasons for a thyroid condition or discovering that the patient has an autoimmune disorder. It actually happens so much now that we come to expect it from our staff and our doctors. And let me tell you the first question we get asked when we find something that was missed, overlooked, or even ignored by the regular doctor. Patients ask why. Why did my doctor not catch this? Why did my doctor, why did my doctor not look for these things? Well, I'm here to tell you that it is not because your doctor is a bad doctor. It's not because your doctor doesn't want to help you. The real reason your doctor missed it is because he is A, not up to date on current research regarding treatment of thyroid and autoimmune conditions, or, and or, B, he's undereducated on the conditions. Here's data you need to know. First, since 1996, the American Autoimmune Related Diseases Association, AARDA, has conducted research to track the number of years it takes from the onset of an autoimmune symptom or symptoms to the time of proper diagnosis and the average number of doctors a patient sees before he or she gets an answer. According to the latest analysis, research within the last three years, patients report that it takes more than three and a half years and nearly five different doctors to receive a correct autoimmune disease diagnosis. This really severe patient condition situation led the AARDA to conduct a preliminary study of 130 family physicians in the fall of 2013. Here's what they found. 64% of family physicians state they are uncomfortable or stressed when diagnosing autoimmune diseases in patients. 73% 73% do not believe they received adequate training in diagnosing and treating autoimmune diseases. And 57% reported they had only one or two lectures on autoimmune disease in medical school. That's not one or two classes, folks. That's one or two lectures. Look, your doctor is not a bad doctor. But given that 90% of all hypothyroidism is autoimmune in nature, and given that it is common for someone to have more than one autoimmune disease, and autoimmune diseases are on the rise, I highly encourage you to do your due diligence. Work with a practitioner who specializes in current functional medicine approaches to your health problems. Folks, what I can tell you is, it is your health, and I encourage you to own it. Take charge of it, and don't settle for your body not working at its best. You get one trip around this thing called life. How do you want that trip to go? Do you want it to be full of medication, low energy, and sickness? Or do you want it to be full of health, life, and vitality? Folks, if you found this data to be helpful, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel below. Click that button. Thank you so much for listening. And remember, stay on the path to good health.